Hi, Davin Lim here, uh, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about um, various ways to treat the dilated pore of Weiner. So if you um, YouTube that or Google that, it's one of the biggest hits out is dilated pores of Weiner. Why is that? It's because it's spectacular and for all you popaholics, um, it is absolutely great. So if you want to skip this bit of the explanation, I'll show you what I use, which is basically a laser. Uh, this is my method of actually extracting a dilated pore wire. So watch this. So I'm using a CO2 laser, one millimeter spot size, drill mode. This causes very little damage to the surrounding tissue. Um, it's virtually painless. I put local numbing cream beforehand. Now what I use is an extractor. There are different types of comedonal extractors. Everyone has their own preference. I'm using what's known as a cup extractor. So it's shaped like a cup um, and I'm pushing pressure on it but instead of actually pulling down I'm rocking back and forth. So you can see me rocking back and forth at the same time putting pressure. And I can't believe how much content is actually coming out of this dilated pore. So dilated pore whiners, what is it? They're actually blackheads or comedones that are usually isolated and they usually occur on the face, but you can have them on the trunk as well. And they're usually bigger on the trunk, but on the face, they can be a tiny little hole and look like a solitary blackhead. This is not a cure, but certainly it can help extract the contents of the cysts. So there you have it, guys. I got everything out. And you can see... Um, yeah, it's minimal collateral damage to the surrounding skin. That's why I like the laser method. Okay, there are many roads to the same destination. So if you look at how I um, extracted dilated for Weiner compared to John Gilmore, uh, Josepha Reiner, and even Sandra Lee, we all have our different methods. And some of our methods are simple, and some of our methods are a little bit more complex. So I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each method and I'll show you how things are done. So for example, um, John Gilmore likes to use what's known as a curette. A curette is this. Uh, it's, a, it's an instrument which is basically a blunt instrument and for large dilated pore winders, these are excellent because you can really get in there. It's not sharp, it doesn't cut. Um, and basically he uses this to push in and extract the actual pore itself. So excellent method, that's a cure We also have what's known as comedonal extractors or blackhead extractors. I mean, I use these as well, my nurses use these. They can be cup extractors like the one you just watched, um, or they can be um, extractors with different sizes, front and back. So we can extract different size pores. Um, so certainly really, really effective tool. Um, and you can buy stuff like this off eBay for about five to $10. You don't need medical grade ones. Other instruments which I use, for example, um, and this is one of Sandra Lee's favorite, is, is to actually use one of these, which are basically a, um, a bladed instrument. So a bladed instrument combined with a comedonal extractor can give fantastic results for dilated pore whiners. Now, now on the other hand, um, someone like Jesse Farina, for example, would use a device called an electrolysis or an hyphricator. So a simple device like this, coupled with this electrolysis type device with a needle hyphricator, can actually um, treat dilated pore wine. So she uses a very simple method, a needle method, together with um, a hyphricator to get to the end, end results. This is Josephus' way of um, removing pore winers. It's a very simple method, but I think out of all our methods, she probably has the highest cure rate because she's actually using heat in the form of thermolysis. In other words, um, heating up the wall of the pore of winer to actually um, ablate it. In other words, um, uh, kill the actual cells. So she's not only draining um, the pore, but she's actually curing it in the vast majority of cases. The gold standard for treating Poor whiners is actually a punch excision if it's small or an elliptical excision. So you can see her now loosening it up with, um, with just a simple needle. Just a simple 20 cent needle you can actually buy from a pharmacist. 
um, and she's just loosening it up, opening the pore, extracting the contents bit by bit. She's not even using a curette, but she's just using a simple needle. Um, and you can see everyone has different methods and it works for her. Um, she does not need to use a $100,000 laser. Um, she just uses a cheap, simple needle. But guess what? It actually does work. So look at the technique. It's really good. Um, she's very careful, very meticulous with things. And then once she's get it loosened out, just firm pressure along the, along the area. And the contents of the cyst will come up. So she's very persistent with things. She doesn't even use a comedomal extractor. It's basically just pressure. So she's loosening it up again in firm pressure and persistence. Pressure and persistence. And over time, over quite a fair bit of time, the cysts or the contents of the dilated pore. Persistence is the key, so you'll see a keeping on with the electrolysis. Once again, it's slow heat to the wall of the dilated pore winer, which is also sealing off the wall itself. So I think it's a very good method of all of all our methods. I think this is probably the best. Um, but it does take a lot of time and a lot of patience. You can see it extracting bit by bit. So there we are. As for me, um, my favorite method is to actually to give the least amount of collateral damage to the tissue. So in other words, I don't like causing um, damage to the surrounding tissue and that's why I use a laser. Lasers are extremely accurate and they're very, very powerful. So if you look at this, um, here we go. We're already through. So it, it is a very, very precise instrument uh, and it gives minimal collateral damage. You only get a dot. So it is an amazing tool for extractions. That coupled with a, um, a cup extractor can do a really, really good job. So once again, um, this is my method. So like, like I said, if you're going to time it, it's one shot, two shots, three shots. Um, local anesthetics are already there. Um, I've already got that hole, which has got a minimal amount of collateral damage to the surrounding skin. I'm using an extractor with firm pressure uh, and just extracting the contents of the pore whiner. What I'm not doing, compared to what Josepha is doing, is actually uh, treating the inner wall of the pore whiner. So all we're doing is we're extracting, we're not curing. In order for me to cure this condition, I need to extract it. Once the inflammation settles down, I need to use uh, possibly a two to three millimeter punch excision, punch excise that with one suture and it's cured. So this is by far not the best method, but I think it's the quickest method with the least amount of collateral damage um, and certainly can produce spectacular results like this. So there you have it guys. That's why I love lasers. So if I could summarize, there are many, many different methods to extract um, blackheads and to extract dilated pore whiners. Um, everything from um, cheap 20 cent needles, uh, such as this, to more expensive curettes, um, to even really cheap blades like this, which cost five, 10 cents to more expensive uh, lasers, which cost um, $100,000. So look, uh, there are many, many ways to do things and not everything is done with a laser. So you can see the pros and cons of uh, extractions. Thanks for that, guys. So guys, why do I love uh, lasers? Well, one, num number one, I'm a guy. I absolutely love blowing shit up. Uh, but um, <laughs> look, realistically, lasers give you really pinpoint accuracy. Um, and it can do amazing things. So I would love you to subscribe for more videos and I'll keep you posted on anything new and upcoming in cosmetic and laser dermatology. To show you how old I am, I discovered something called Instagram and now I'm on it. So hey, if you're really bored, follow me on Instagram and I'll show you a couple of clips um, every week, 60 second video clips. So um, hope to um, subscribe. Thanks, bye.